Nothing like a good cup of joe to wash down some delicious marlin. Let's go on! What's going on Birdland? Baltimore Bops here and welcome to the Baltimore Bops YouTube channel where we discuss all things Baltimore Orioles. And in this episode, I want to talk about the three-game sweep of the Baltimore Orioles over the Miami Marlins. Let's get straight into it. So, in game one, right out of the jump, all-star break is done. We're finally back to Baltimore Orioles baseball. The Baltimore Orioles start the second half of the season on the right foot by defeating the Miami Marlins 5-2 to two while wearing the infamous City Connect uniforms. I guess... The curse is not true, but I digress. So, Dean Kramer comes in. He gets the non-first game of the season, or the second half of the season, if you will. And he goes six innings, giving up only two hits and one earned run. Fantastic start for that starting pitcher, Dean Kramer, in game one of this series. Miami came in hot, man. They were like, what, 53-39? and 39? And Baltimore, you know, they had their work cut out for them. This is a hot baseball team coming into Camden, Yard, Camden Yards right out of the jump. So Dean Kramer is huge. Six innings, two hits, one earned run. And he additionally had eight Ks to only two stinking walks, man. Yenier Cano did give up a home run, but it was a solo shot, and it was really too late. I think it was an eighth inning, and it really didn't matter at that, that point. And then my man, King Felix, comes in and rebounds. From that eh, all-star thing, like I said, hey, it's better that it happened in the all-star game than in Camden Yards with the birds, right? Hey, King Felix does exactly what he's supposed to do, comes in and shuts it stinking down. And another cool fact is that Arise, Luis Arise, guess what? He was held hitless in game one. But the real big story was stinking Adam Frazier. Man, that guy has been stinking balling. He's been playing lights out. For the first time in his career, if I'm not mistaken, Adam Frazier had two stinking dingers. And it's in the first game back after the All-Star break. Man, he is exemplified. He has shown a ton of pop in that bat. And he's at 12 home runs already, and we're just a little over the halfway mark of the season. I'm starting to really like when my man Adam is in the lineup, especially against righties. So he also goes three for four, and he actually started the scoring off with his uh, RBI single. So, man, hey, hats off, Adam. Keep stinking doing what you're doing, brother. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, man, just, just huge. So Cedric Mullins, he also hits a solo shot, right? And then the Rays game was postponed, so the Orioles moved to a game and a half back on that day. So, huge win. Come out of the gate, swing in 5-2 birds. So, like I said in my uh, my uh, little preview that I did a couple of days ago, this is the game that kind of worried me. And off the jump, it seemed like maybe I was onto something, okay? Because I thought that the birds might struggle in this one, and they got into an early 4-0 hole. But, but in true Baltimore Orioles magic fashion, my guys came back from that four-run deficit, and they beat the Marlins 6-5 to go ahead and make sure they locked up that series in game two. So they give up four in the top half of the second. What do the, what do the birds do? They battle back and get a crooked number with three of their own in the bottom half, and that was huge. Just to give them some mo, just to keep them in the ball game, keep the spirits high, and they were able to eventually get it done. So, Gibby did not have a good day. I think we all know that Gibson did not have a good day. And here lately, it's been a couple of days where it hasn't been good. But I will say, tip of the cap to him, Brandon Hyde left him in there, and he battled. He battled. He had a really bad second inning, but he did go five and a third, and he kind of maintained, you know, until he was replaced in the sixth. So... Hey, tip of the cap, bro. You don't always have your best stuff, and I got to admire a guy that's going to come in there and battle, and that's what Gibby did. How about Gunner? It's kind of weird to see him in the eighth spot, right? But he gets a solo shot, and my man was stinking fantastic 
on the defensive side of the ball. How many balls did we see him charge and throw off that back right foot and just throw a beam, a laser, a stinking frozen rope to first base to get it out? I mean, that guy is, it was like Brooks Robinson and Cal Ripken Jr. had like entered him. And he's just making these ridiculous stinking plays. Can we sign him to a long-term contract already, please? If you're with me, let me know. So, Mountain comes back, and what does he do, All right? You got that little kind of bad thing in the All-Star break, comes back in game one of the Marlins series, shuts it stinking down. Well, game two, he comes in, and he closes it out again for back-to-back -back saves, closing it out in true King Felix fashion. And the Rays, unfortunately, they win both of their games. So at the end of yesterday, the Birds are still two games back, right? Well, game three, it's already 2-0 Birds. We're going for the sweep. Going for the stinking sweep. We're out there fishing, baby, for Marlins, right? We already got two of them. We're trying to get that third one. So <clears throat> Kyle Bradish comes in, and he does exactly what you need him to do. He goes seven and a third, he scatters three hits, and he has eight Ks, and he only gives up one stinking walk. Big time, son. Big time. So Adley, he let off the scoring by hitting a ground rule double. And if you, if you saw the game, he hits it right at Mr. Splash. So Mr. Splash is out there in left center field hanging out. It's a stinking one hopper that comes right. He has to get out of the way, and he turns around with his water hose, and he just starts letting everybody have it, right? So Adley starts it off, and then right after him, Anthony. Blast! Two-run shot, baby. Three-nothing birds with the crooked number in the bottom half of the first inning, and they would never relinquish that lead. So later on, uh, McCann, he, fields in, he grounds into a fielder's choice, and then uh, Gunnar Henderson, off, um, later on, he gets a sack fly and put it, make it five-nothing birds. Now... The interesting thing is that they took that 5 nothing lead into the top of the ninth. So we're just trying to shut things down, right? <clears throat> trying to save the bullpen. So Bizardo comes in, my man Bizardo, and he gets just punished from the get-go, from the stinking jump. So he comes in in the ninth, he gives up three hits, two runs, and he only recorded one stinking out. So it's 5-2. What do they got? They got the lefty Danny Colomb come in. He's going to try to clean this thing up. Well, he gives up two hits of his own, right? So the Marlins, they were down 5-0 in the top of the ninth. All of a sudden, it's thinking 5-4 to four with two outs, and guess who's up? The major league leading average guy, Luis Arise. And fortunately, Danny Colomb was able to stinking get him to line out to left and my man Austin Hayes put the game away. Lefty-lefty matchup, and we finally won, preserving a 5-4 victory for a sweep. Just a little bit of a sweep, right? Fishing for Marlins, and just, just a little bit of a sweep. So, my man Danny Colon, not the best game, but we got the W. And that moves the Baltimore Orioles to 57 and 35. 22 games above 500. And guess what? Tampa Bay lost, which means the Baltimore Orioles are only one stinking game behind the Rays for first place in the AL East. Now we got a three game set against the Dodgers. And we can't look ahead, okay? I'm going to do a podcast about that here shortly. We cannot look ahead, but I'm telling you. How big is this matchup at Tampa Bay, at Tropicana Field in three days? It's going to be stinking huge. Imagine a four-game set with these guys neck and neck. We're going, to, we're going to see somebody start to create some space. I really think that it's coming, and I think that it might be the Baltimore Orioles. So stay stinking tuned. So, man, I don't know about you, but that is super exciting. A three-game sweep of a hot Miami Marlins team. Right out of the stinking break, that's eight baseball games in a row. Man, let's see if we can take that into the LA series. So, hey, I appreciate you guys tuning in. And if you like this content, please consider like, share, subscribe, comment down in the comment section. 
about how much you enjoyed this baseball series. It was entertaining. It was a good baseball series. And to come out 3-0 off the jump and to be one game back behind Tampa Bay for the AL East, exciting, exciting, exciting. So, hey, go Orioles. Let's beat the heck out of the Dodgers. And I'll see you on the next one.